Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of the, the 20 gallon tank build, um, I ended up picking up a couple mangroves uh, about a month and a half back. I've been growing them in my, in my sump in the basement down in the lab. Um, I've been floating them in the water. I've been trying to get a really nice root system uh, to branch out. So when I end up putting them in the, the 20 gallon tank here, it'll look like a piece of art. The roots will come out and um, they'll start to dig into the sand and then they'll grow up like a bonsai tree and I can keep trimming them. Um, the one great thing about having the mangroves in your tank, it helps uh, filters the water from nitrates and phosphates out of your water as well. And uh, it's all beneficial for the tank. Um, a couple things with the mangroves actually in the wild. Um, if you ever see, you know, in like the Florida Keys, um, the roots, they, you know, they extend and when the water coastline goes down, you can see them uh, sticking into the ground, right? So what they do, those roots help stop the erosion of the, all the coastal lines so it doesn't just fall right into the ocean. Um, it's very important for us to have mangroves. Um, the other thing with mangroves as well, um, they're not allowed to, you know, take them out of the wild. Um, you're only allowed to harvest the, the seedlings that fall off without roots. They're the only ones you can buy, You're supposed to buy in the hobby, guys. So with these two mangroves here, I got to place them in the tank, put one in each corner. Um, we got the light system going on here with the LEDs. And uh, I assume just waiting on my hangers uh, for the radions that uh, Phil uh, sent and donated the lights to my son there uh, under the tide. You guys should check out his uh, YouTube channel as well. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the mangroves I've been growing here. So these are the two mangroves I've been growing. I just had them as seedlings that I picked up. They were uh, like $11 a piece. So what I did, what I did to my sump is I got a piece of this foam, and I made two holes inside. So when they were smaller, all I did was I let them float in the water. So as you let them float in the water, the roots they stay uh, suspended in the water, and then they can grow out. Um, when I got them, all they had was like a little miniature root. But you guys can see, look at the root system on that, guys. It didn't take long. So yeah, those are two beautiful uh, mangroves there. They're really growing. Um, with the mangroves, they grow really slow, so that's one great thing about in the reef tank. So as I place them here in the tank, they're just going to grow, um, you know, very slowly, uh, like a bonsai tree. And then you can keep trimming them back. And the way I did the with the LEDs here, I put them on the uh, on the cables, and I can raise them as they grow, so I can get you know many of years out of this. Um, one thing you're going to have to watch out for as well: uh, the roots will eventually start to grow, you know, and start to take over. So you want to keep them sort of keep them trimmed back. Um, one other thing, when you have the mangroves growing uh, in your tank, they like to uh, they like to absorb a lot of magnesium. So you always want to keep your watch your magnesium levels that they're dropping, and you'll want to dose for that because uh, they absorb a lot of uh, magnesium. That's one pointer or two, guys. So yeah, so this is the two mangroves, guys. Uh, beautiful red mangroves. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do to get them out of this, I'm gonna have to cut cut uh, the foam to get them out of here. So I, I'm probably just gonna try. I can try to rip it. So I could rip, rip that foam open. So there we go. So there's one uh, mangrove free. So you guys can see the root system on that. That one's really growing out, guys. So I'm going to probably put this one in the left side of the tank. Just going to set that down. And then this is the real large one here. This has been really taken off, this one, guys. So I'm just going to rip this one open as well. So there we go. Really nice uh, specimen. Really nice root, nice uh, root system on there. You can see the fine little hairs. So yeah, is, these are great. So the one thing with the root system, like in the wild, you know, the fish uh, spawn in their roots and all different other kind of creatures, you know, live there as well. You know, so they can stay away from all the predators that are trying to kill them, you know, and eat them. So that's one good uh, thing about mangroves in the wild too. So I'm gonna place these uh, guys in the tank here and uh, hopefully get them somewhat into the sand. I'm pretty sure they're pretty close. This one's gonna reach. But the other one still uh, still needs to put a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, root system on it to get it right in there, guys. So I'm going to place this one probably in that area so it'll look good. And then the smaller one, I'll probably place it on the left and uh, maybe try to keep it out of the water a little bit so the roots can really start to grow out more on it. Because uh, the roots on this one, it's doing like a major, uh, major curve, guys. You can see that. But it's getting this really nice uh, root coming off here right now. We'll get a lot of nice little fine roots off that one. So yeah, so you can see the uh, size difference. This one, they're pretty, one's grown a little bit much, much more than the other. So I'm going to try to get these guys in the tank and uh, we'll see how they take off. I hope Landon really likes these. He's not home right now. So I want to get these into the tank and we'll check them out. Guys. All right, guys. So let's try to get the first mangrove in there. I'm just going to take my watch off. It's not going to really give us salt water. So let's try to bear with me here. See if we can get this one in. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so we've got one mangrove in there to go. I just placed it in the corner just behind the rock for now, so as the, the roots grow, I can uh, you know move it around as it gets established so I can get it exactly where I want it. So let's try to get the second one in here, guys. So we got the smaller one with the big root, so we're good to go. So I'm going to try to place this one more on the left. All right, guys, so we got the second one into place. It looks pretty good, so we're going to let those ones grow out. Um, you know, let the root system really dig in, and then I can move them around more. Um, I just want to make sure to keep the, you know, the leaves out of the, the salt water. All right, another pointer with the mangroves as well, how do they absorb the water? Um, what they do is they absorb the water through the roots. 90% of the salt that they absorb through the roots actually gets excreted through glands that are on the leaves. So when you're looking at your mangrove and you see salt on the leaves, that's why, because it's excreting the, the salt, so it just takes off the, you know, the fresh water out of the salt. So that's why you see when, you're, when you feel, the, feel your leaves, you can feel a little bit of the salt on there, guys. Um, what I usually do is I just have a spray bottle and I just spray it down to clean them off. Uh, so it makes them, you know, look sharp. Um, like another thing is uh, like any other, you know, like desert plant, um, the mangrove actually uh, stores water in its leaves and uh, it has little hairs on there. And what it does, it helps reflect the sunlight and uh, keeps it from uh, evaporating. As, as All right, guys, so those are the mangroves. I'm going to bring you guys up close and personally so you guys can check out the mangroves, check out the roots, what they look like in the 20 gallon tank. I think it looks pretty good. Landon's pretty happy about it. So I'll bring you guys in close and personal. Check out these two mangroves. Um, so we'll go on a little journey here. You know, we're gonna watch them grow and uh, see how they so take. Here's Landon's tank with the two mangroves in it. Um, so the one on the left, it's a little shorter, so I can't put it exactly down in behind the rocks, but we'll give it time so the root system can grow out and it'll look really, really nice. So there's the two mangroves, guys. So we come in close. There's Landon's clownfish. They're doing really well, and they're hosting the anemone from the other videos. So you guys can see uh, the root system on there. And the other root system's right in the back. So you guys can see there in the rocks, guys. Looking pretty good. So these will help filter, you know, filter his 20 gallon tank. And it's gonna help filter all my, you know, my 220 and plus all the, all the sumps and stuff downstairs. I'll probably get a few more uh, from uh, my tank down in the basement. It'll turn out really nice. So with these LEDs, but I can't wait to get the, Phil's, uh, the radions in there he gave us. Just waiting on the hangers. That's what it's looking, guys. All right, guys. So that's the two mangroves in the, the reef tank build going on here, the 20 gallon. Um, I can't wait for them to grow up. Um, they're going to help filter Landon's tank, and it's going to help filter my whole system as well. Um, so I'm going to probably pick up a few more mangroves uh, for my sump in the basement down in the lab. It'll help filter even more. But as this, you know, becomes like a showpiece. Um, I love having the root system going, you know what I mean, and start pruning that up. It's going to look really amazing. So hopefully everything will go really well. The roots will grow right out. Um, the fish will have somewhere, you know, to, to hang out. And, uh, you know, like a little mice shrimp and stuff like that, they can uh, live around the roots. So it's, it's a really good ecosystem for everyone. It makes everything more natural, uh, you know, just like the sea. So it's going to look really good. So Clan, uh, Landon's um, uh, Clowns, um, they're hosting the Rose Bubble Tip from the previous videos. They're still going really well. Um, he's growing uh, He's growing a lot and the fish are just loving it. So add a little bit more ecosystem. You guys should do that to your system as well. And it benefits everyone. Um, so yeah, so the, I hope you guys like this episode. Um, you please subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, we'll move on to uh, you know another video of this build as well. We still have to finish the stand, get the lights up and working. And then we got to start building uh, Gavin's tank as well. So tune in, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. You got to check out your new mangrove, yeah, son. Yeah, what, what right? are those orange? Yeah. What are those that orange? I don't know, son. It's, it's right pinkos. Yeah, you see them?